all set to get a swanky new airport terminal. Tehe iconic terminal 2 at the Kempagowda International Airport. But a legacy war has now erupted over the Kempagowda statue that will be unveiled at the terminal by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. With the Congress even claiming that government funds have been misused for the 108 feet bronze statue of the city's founder. More than 2,000 acres for commercial exploitation. The airport would have built it. Why you needed government money? Why is the chief secretary sitting quiet? Who is the airport authority chairman? It is the Karnataka government. We are the chairman, we are running the show. They would have built it. Why you took? There was no need. Narendra Modi is coming to unveil the statue of Nada Prabhu Kempe Gouda. His coming is only a political gimmick. Not to support the people of Karnataka. The opposition further questioned the need for the new terminal, questioning why the Bombay government has spent funds on this project instead of filling the city's killer potholes. To invite Narendra Modi ji, this government, surprisingly, they started to fill up the potholes. From last one and a half months, several people, they have died. At that time, there, there is no seriousness in the government. Built at a cost of rupees 5,000 crore, the new terminal has been designed as a tribute to the garden city of Bengaluru. With sprawling green walls, hanging gardens and outdoor greens to enable flyers the experience of walking in the garden. With the inauguration of Terminal 2 by Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the passenger handling capacity of Kia as well as counters for check-in and immigration will double enabling the refurbished airport to handle as many as crore passengers annually. The airport has already set benchmarks when it comes to sustainability with 100% green renewable energy across the campus. The main attraction of the new airport terminal will be this brand new landmark a 108-feet bronze statue of the city's founder, Kempa Gowda. At the international airport, named after the 16th-century legendary Vijayanagara Empire chief, the giant bronze statue of Nada Prabhu Kempa Gowda is being dubbed the Statue of Prosperity and has been built at the cost of 85 crore rupees. Now we have built a 108-feet statue uh, here, the Nada Prabhu Kempegoda statue, sending a big message. Since Bangalore has grown over the time and it has become the most prosperous, futuristic land of opportunity, the founder of the city is Nada Prabhu Kempegoda. Kempegoda was regarded as one of the most educated and successful rulers of his time. It was he who fortified Bengaluru and developed it into a city in the 1530s. They take pride in acknowledging my predecessor uh, chief minister, our earlier chief minister, Sri Edirapaji, to have mooted this idea, to have initiated this idea, Statue of Prosperity, way back in 2019, as early as we formed this BJP government. The mega unveiling by Modi is a mix of modern Bengaluru and Karnataka's glorious past. The ruling BJP hopes it can highlight its development mantra ahead of assembly polls next year. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.